The pancreas is the most important exocrine and the endocrine gland, which is located actually in the central abdomen, uh, especially occupying the uh, epigastric quadrant as compared to the nine quadrant of the out of all the nine quadrants of the abdomen. The important uh, you know, the important function is like the exocrine function as well and the endocrine function as well. Talking about the exocrine function, it's important for the digestion of different, you know, the carbohydrates, the proteins, and also the fat uh, digestion as well. If we talk about the endocrine part, you know, we have the pancreas is actually composed of different kinds of alpha, beta, and D cells, uh, which are responsible, like the beta cells are responsible for the production of the insulin, the alpha cells, which are responsible for the production of glucagon, and the D cells responsible for the production of somatostatin. So, in today's lecture, more commonly, uh, importantly, we will be talking about the surgical anatomy of the pancreas, the important relationships which are, you know, uh, uh, because it's a part of the retro peritoneum, so the important structures which are in the retro peritoneum and they're related to the pancreas. We're going to discuss about the different parts of the pancreas. We're going to discuss about the exocrine and the endocrine portion of the pancreas. And then also we're going to discuss about the uh, physiology and the main pancreatic enzymes uh, which are being produced by the pancreas. We will be discussing all these things in today's lecture. Uh, then the important thing is like how to investigate a patient who's coming to you uh, with the pancreatic pathology. So in today's lecture, we're also going to talk about the investigation, uh, starting from the baseline investigation, the invasive investigation, the non-invasive investigation, and then we're also going to discuss about the imaging investigations, like the ultrasonography, the uh, CT, which is the contrast enhanced computed tomography, MRI, uh, MRCP, and the ERCP. Uh, ERCP can also be used as a therapeutic and a diagnostic investigation. So how it's going to be used as a diagnostic and, uh, and the therapeutic investigation, we'll be discussing this in today's lecture. We're going to talk about the different congenital anomalies which are related to the pancreas. And the most important and the common congenital anomalies we're going to discuss today is like cystic fibrosis which is because of the uh, mutation in the CFTR gene. We'll be discussing which enzyme or which chromosome is responsible, which segment of the chromosome is undergoing mutation. We're also going to discuss about the presentation, the symptoms, the involvement of the different symptoms in the cystic fibrosis. And we're going to also discuss about how we're going to discuss or how we're going to investigate a case of a cystic fibrosis and at the end we'll be talking about its treatment. We'll be talking about the pancreatic division, we'll be talking about the endolar pancreas and their treatment and we're going to talk about the ectopic pancreas and obviously the congenital cystic diseases of the pancreas as well. So there are a lot of other lectures uh, which are present on our site, which is cardia.com. You can go there, you can get access. So for the detailed lecture, keep watching cardia.com with Dr. Sanaka.